Hello, YouTube. Welcome back to another episode of Stray. I'm cheating a teeny tiny bit here because I realized I missed a memory in this segment of the game, so I just want to go back really quick and grab it. And uh, once that's taken care of, we'll get back to where we were. So give me just a couple minutes, I'm gonna go grab that. Okay, okay, I get it. So after you get the, the Zerg swarm and you, you do the little cart ride and you get her, you come up and instead of going up there where the angry robot face is, this actually has a little hole in the fence. Eh, eh. And we've got our memory. Beautiful. The scientist I used to work for always said he wanted to retire to a little cottage, fishing all day long. Of course, that was not a possibility in the city, and nobody could have done that for at least a hundred years. When we get to the outside, what if we found ourselves a little cottage with a harmless fishing rod and a lot of books? I think that's what the scientist would have wanted. But first, we should go find Doc. Hey, one more memory. Oh, So cute and peaceful. Oh, I love watching the little kitty nap, but we have to go do stuff. Eh. Come on, get up. Alrighty. Back to where we were. Alrighty, and just like that, we're back and ready to save our robot friend from these, uh, alien menace. <laughs> Go back home. I don't remember your voice at all. I'm sorry, sir. I see your ugly little claws sticking through the wall. Oh, I really wanted to try and fry you through the door. Sorry, vitamin B12. <laughs> Alrighty. Let's do this. I wonder if the eggs can be fried. I guess not. They're gonna be like right on the other side of this door, aren't they? Suspense is killing me. Alrighty. Let me have a look see. Check for safety. Or cutscene. Oh, it's going to be a beautiful father-son reunion moment. I don't know how this works still, but it's cute. Oh, he's got a love heart face. That's cute. Now they have to deal with the uncomfortable question of what to do with this guy who actually somehow made it out. Oh, and I got scritches from Mr. Rope Man. Thanks for saving Doc, little friend. It's great to see that Seamus is no longer alone. Now we know that we can fight back against the Zerks. Momo has been waiting for you by the sewers. 
I have nothing left to show you. Doc and Seamus look happy. I think we did a good thing together. We sure did, bud. Uh, but before we go on, I need to figure out if I'm missing any sheet music. Hi there. Hello, I'm a musician, but I don't have any songs. Okay, I... I'm gonna take another quick break because I think I'm missing one of his songs as well and I'm a completionist. So I will be right back. Ah, uh, yes, this one in the programming shop. Okay, there can't be that many- uh, Sir? Rude, how dare you just close the door in my face? You could have caught my whiskers. You have to get back up anyways to let me out. I want to go out. Thank you. Now, where the heck was the main spot? I think it was this way. Maybe? Yes? No? No? Wait, back the other way? Ah, staircases. Yes, that makes sense. Righty. Do I have all your sheet music now? Music. Yes. I can definitely find more. Here's another one. It's untitled. It's exactly 44 notes. Great. Don't tell me. That's still not all the sheet music. Of course it's not. Why would it be all of it? Alright. Just make sure I got everything clear. Oh no. Please tell me I didn't miss stuff because I restarted the chapter. Uh, okay, let me buy the sheet music. Here you go. Energy drink can. Oh god. Do I have to redo all of the sheet music? I might cry. I think I have to redo all of the sheet music. Okay, let that be a lesson to you kids. Never restart a game, ever. No wonder I got the stupid soda cans again. Okay. Fine, I'm just gonna go back and find all of them. We're just doing this. I'll tell you when I'm done. Okay, you son of a bitch. This is it. I swear to God, there is no more music. This is the last one. Hey, that's the last sheet music. You've done very well, little one. Have this badge as a token of my gratitude. Great, I don't have to listen to you play it. You, I got my achievement. Ballad of the Lonely Robot. Yes, you are, and that's what you're gonna be for the rest of your miserable life. Hi. Momo is waiting for you on his boat. You can join him, but have you done everything you wanted in here? Because I'll close the door behind you. Don't want any Zerks coming through. Okay. We got all the memories, I think, because none of these are lit up. I got my sheet music award. I'm just going to assume I've done everything I can do, and we're just going to go. I can't take this anymore. We need to make progress. Dang, though, he really did shut that door on me. Alrighty. I think we're getting close to a couple of memories. Hard to make out though. But it definitely looks like I should take a quick look around. I know you're itching to get going, sir, but I don't want to miss anything. Because clearly when I do, I have to backtrack a lot.
I'm not sure. So I came in through there. Appear to be any climbable way up though. But I feel like Oh, maybe it's maybe they they wouldn't put it right away, right? Oh, your head's freaking out. Alrighty. I can't believe you found Doc and got the defluxor. With this, now we can go find Svaltzar. Let's go! Okay, but there better not be any missing memories in this area or I'm gonna be very upset! Very upset. The sewers. I don't know what chapter we're on. Okay. Pretty creepy. I get that usually water is peaceful, but in settings like this, it, it usually ends up having an ominous feeling. Oh, if I move, I move the boat, I think. Looking for Zerks. What did, you, what did you just say? This place is creepy. Yeah, it sure is, buddy. Oh, the water is completely green. I hate that. Ooh, but this does look like an area where I'm, where the memory might be, just aesthetically speaking, based on color palette. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Something tells me I'm gonna have to get off and get us through. Don't you worry, none. I'll figure this out. But I will also search for my little buddy here's lost memory because vitamin B12 needs to know his past and that's what I'm here for. You know, I'm a very supportive feline. I almost feel like this would be easier without the light on. I don't actually know how to turn it off now. Ugh, it looks pretty gruesome around here. jump in that water. Oh, Jesus! Okay, newsflash. Don't walk by the... I'm gonna guess those are egg sacs. Or... Yeah, get off, get off. Serpentine, serpentine. Come on, you little shits. Oh sh I blew the light, I blew the light. Great, okay, you're all dead. I am all for, oh, I had to go this way anyways. This is where the, the lever is. Watch up on the controls and play with the control panel. out where the memory is gonna be. I get that you're waiting, but I also have to find things of my own, sir. I don't want to miss anything again, and I can't go back, clearly. but you're not scared with me here. Really? I am a 12 pound orange tabby. How am I the thing that's making you fearless? 
god. Still beautiful, but I need the color palette around here. Uh oh, cinematic. Now what? Are we gonna die? machinery is broken now. I think we can open it manually. Okay. Don't electrocute yourself, please. Oh, is this gonna be a case where you've gotta pull the rope and I gotta go in on my own? I feel like that's exactly what this is leading to. below the door it won't hold for long yep okay great just send the cat on your mission to find your buddy i can't go with you but i won't stop looking for a way when you find spouts are and clementine tell them i was brave oh that makes it sound like you're doomed no i i oh no this is ewy and squishy and I don't want to just abandon you. I just also don't want to not help my friends. This is a no-win situation. Oh, okay, everything is covered in slime. Oh god, there's just half-eaten robot corpses tangled up in this mess. This really gives going into the belly of the beast vibes. I don't know. I also think there's this- oh, there's gotta be like something around here because I feel like this looked like something that might have had a memory. Because like, this definitely looks Familiar. Like, based on what little guy sees. I don't know. Maybe I'm just tripping. Eep, but I'm running into shit too. All right, let's just let's just venture forward. I'm sure, it's bound to get worse. My feet are getting all wet. It's just god awful. Oh, overdid it, overdid it, overdid it. Oh, there's so many egg sacks. I really need to stop doing that. Seems like we can do it in bursts. Like hold charge. Okay, 
Okay, so you do kind of have to fry them all in one. But we're just testing the limits, you know? Oh, this is disgusting. Oh, I'm sorry. Are you in the walls? Oh, I hate that. Alrighty, alrighty, alrighty. I'm getting used to dealing with you shits. Oh, nope. Never mind. I thought I was getting the hang of this. Turns out I'm not. Sorry, B12. Okay. Sorry about that again. Oh, there are so many of you. Why are there so many? Oh god. You are gross and ewy and I hate the sound you make and I hate the way you- Oh! I think I found a thing. Oh, the memory is in the darkness. Interesting. Alrighty, B12, what you got for me? The sewer system. Yes, I remember now. Clean water was scarce. The city was supplied by huge machinery that dug deep into the earth. Just like everything else, it was rationed out to sustain people during times of drought. The scientists showed me the blueprint of the water tanks. They are huge and could contain a whole building in them. Dang. This is giving me very what could happen to us kind of vibes. And it's like it's magnificent and I love the detail that's going into it but I'm also horrified by the prospects of this being the fate we're left to. But I could, again, this is something that humanity would do, making a race of mutant ticks that completely wreck the ecosystem and evolve beyond any semblance of what you actually planned for them to do. And of course, continuing to stratify class structure instead of learning how to work together because capitalism over socialism every day. But that's an argument for a different kind of channel. For now, we're just exploring. Deeper into this horrifying sewer system. Why are sewer systems always just gross? Does no one ever have a clean and well-maintained sewer system? It's always this, this, this monstrosity that you have to explore. I mean, I get it. Sewers are not the most clean. But, I mean, it's, assuredly at some point this, in, the, in someone's imagination we have to get a nice sewer. <sighs> and not just more Zerg eggs. Alrighty, alrighty. Need a little distance, need a little distance so I can fry you safely. Lovely, lovely. There is no good hiding spot, is there? I can't just jump up there. That'd be too easy. No, oh, get in the thing, get in the thing. <sighs> Just in time. Sorry, B. <laughs> what the heck? Oh, this place is horrifying. Like, it's made increasingly worse by the fleshy zerk growths, but even just outside of that. Like, I feel like they went out of their way to make this place just deep and dark and dangerous looking. And my flashlight is shit, by the way. Like, I'd be better off just with my cat eyes. Okay, getting close. We looked over here. Eh. I always, I always do that on the last round. Yeah, let's just get get dead, get dead. Alrighty. I think 
my goal in this game is to just exterminate as much of humanity's folly as possible. So I'm just gonna kill every single Zerk I see. Maybe in the end I will create a world that is safe for my new robot buddies. But also I have realized I have no idea how long this episode is going, but it is going for a while. Alrighty. Let's kill these buggers off. Real quick. It's gonna be a killing montage in here. Exterminated all the Zerks. Let's see what's on the other side. Oh! The other side is not all, is not all exterminated. It is more Zerks. Oh, I don't like this music. I don't like the music and I don't like the ticking. Oh! Why do I get the feeling that this is a menace that will never be purged from the world and my efforts are as futile as those that came before me? Oh jeez, they're not just ticks, they're like a fungus. Okay. Just gonna go. I refuse to be afraid of you. I will not go gentle into that good night. Oh! Oh no no no, okay, you know what, you know what? This is a problem for, for the next episode. That is a goddamn wall of eyeballs. I ain't gonna take, I, I know, you know what? No, that's, that's a moment for the next episode. Thank, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, once when, when we get back, we're gonna deal with eyeballs. Eyeballs? Eyeballs. <laughs> As always, y'all have a great day, and I will see you in the next episode. Goodbye. <laughs>